Officials at Wake Med are getting the word out, asking you to watch out for any snakes in your area. They say North Carolina leads the country for snake bites. And of all the counties, Wake County has the highest number reported. CBS 17, Zach Dahlheimer is here to explain more. And Zach, this issue hits you personally. Yeah, Marius, my family moved here to Raleigh from Central Florida about a month ago. And about a couple of weeks ago, my dad was out walking our dog as usual every night when he says he was bitten by what he believes to be a copperhead snake. Now, let me show you exactly where we're talking about. You see this lit up right here behind us around this curb. And near that light post is where my dad says he was bit by that snake about a couple of weeks ago. And now tonight, he and others are getting the word out to others living in the triangle to be safe about something he says that never crossed his mind. If a spaceship would have landed in front of me and little green men would have come out, I wouldn't have been more surprised. Mike Dahlheimer remembers what happened to him just feet from his Raleigh town home a couple of weeks ago. I felt like, you know, when you're walking in the woods, if you, you know, if a stick scratches your leg. I didn't know what a snake bite felt like, but it hurt. He says 10 minutes later, he and my mother came out and saw what looked like a copperhead snake. After going to the ER, he says he was told this was not uncommon. And I'm like, well, geez, that would have been good information to have being a new resident here. Nobody told me that. In my hospital system, we see upward of about 100 bites a year. Dr. Benjamin German studies snakes as an emergency <laughs> physician with Wake Med, treating bites in the triangle, many related to copperheads. He says the reason for the high number of bites in Wake County is due to a large presence of snakes and more people moving into the region. Many of these people are moving into suburban areas, areas that, you know, maybe a year or two ago were farmland, uh, ranch land, forest. And so now you have people coming into close proximity with the snakes that were already there. And that's how the bites happen. He says this time of year is when a number of bites can happen with more snakes coming into the area too. This is the time of year typically when baby copperheads are born. And so the population experiences a sudden increase that uh, that causes more bites. Both hope to see the word get out more to help protect others. I might uh, start to carry a gun with me when I walk the dog at night. It gives new meaning to a uh, to what a snake pistol is. Now, German told me that uh, copperhead snakes, poisonous bites rather, are very rare. Now, here's some important tips he also provided too. They, he says to always be careful, especially around this time of night when you're walking around dusk or when it's dark out. Make sure that your landscaping is trimmed. You eliminate like wood piles or trash piles anywhere a snake could hide. Make sure you're also wearing closed-toed shoes and refrain from wearing maybe any sandals or flip-flops. And he says if you do get bit, he recommends either calling 911 and seeking medical attention. We're live in Raleigh, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.